Hello everybody, good evening. This is Gina with Nailed It DIY Studio Hickory and I am coming to you from my foyer. So um, I've got this super annoying right now glare on my glasses so hopefully that's not too bad for you guys out there. It's just maybe more annoying for me. But um, what we're going to be talking about this, this evening is nailing your entryway decor, okay? By the way, if you hear um, some music, hey Althea, glad you're joining us. If you can hear music in the background, Althea, can you hear music? If you can, that is my oldest son, Avery. He is upstairs up above me practicing saxophone right now. So I don't know if you guys can hear that. I can hear it, but if you can hear it, that's what it is. So I hope you enjoy. He's doing scales right now. Um, anyway, so we're going to talk a little bit about um, how to nail your entryway decor. So I'm going to give you guys just another couple minutes here to hop on and um, hopefully give me some likes, give me some comments so I know you're out there and um, we'll get started with my entryway here, which right now, well, that's going down the hallway there. You can kind of see in the in behind me, but this little part of my entryway here, um, I've got this very barren table and this obviously blank wall where we um, are going to do a little decorating. So hopefully um, you guys will, will enjoy what I've put together this evening. So anytime I am looking or thinking about or working on any particular area of my home when it comes to decorating. I always start with some type of, of piece. Usually it's a sign because, you know, that's what I do. Um, you say usually it's a sign, but I always start with some type of piece um, like that, that I just find really inspiring. And so it becomes the anchor of whatever I'm gonna do around it. So it's the anchor piece of my um, decor. And if you guys um, have seen any of my social media this week, or if you watched last week's live and you saw a little sneak peek, um, then you know we have a new design release that is absolutely gorgeous. And the minute that I saw this piece, I knew that I was gonna make it and it was gonna go right here. So I'm gonna show this to you guys because this is my inspiration piece. I'm gonna put it, oh, that's a little too close. I'm gonna put it close enough that you guys can see it. So this is um, definitely what has inspired my entryway decor and i think that it is um very classic and time um timeless so something that you know i can switch out i feel like things on my little table here and that this piece this anchor piece my inspiration if you will um can stay and that by switching out things on my little foyer table that it it'll just work um, all year round but I don't know if you guys can see I'm gonna try to put that a little bit close for you all this um, frame around my piece here I did that in kind of a wash technique to let some of that wood grain show through um, but it is colored and hopefully you guys can see that okay this is in our dark gray and then just classic white but um, Instead of going black here, I'm gonna to try to let that be close enough that you guys can see. This is one of my most favorite colors. It's Admiral Blue. So it has that very classic look, but you're gonna see um, in, in just a little bit why I chose the Admiral Blue. Okay, so this is my inspiration. This is my anchor piece. I have a nail on the wall here. So I'm going to Hopefully get that centered and straight. All right, there we go. So that is, that's my inspiration. That's my anchor. And like I said, I feel like um, it's classic and timeless enough that it's certainly something that I can use all year round and can kind of switch out what I'm putting on my table here. So I'm gonna show you guys um, some of what, or what I'm gonna put here on the table. Um, not that I'm ready for fall. Okay, so I'm not like a fall crazy person. Now I love fall colors and plaids and pumpkins. 
maybe not as much as the next gal, but um, here's what I chose. And so, sorry, I've got this down here on the floor. I should have thought about my setup. You know these sunflowers because this is the time of year that the sunflowers are blooming and I love to see them. They're so pretty. And a lot of people associate sunflowers with fall, so don't go there. I'm not going fall yet. But to me, they just signify kind of that end of summer beauty. Okay, so that's what I'm going for, end of summer beauty. Now this little piece here, I like to find things or rearrange things from maybe one room or repurpose and steal from one room and move it to another. So that's what I'm doing with this. This was actually on a shelf. This piece here was on a shelf in my bathroom. And I thought it would look so cute here with these sunflowers that are my end of summer flower. Okay, not fall, but my end of summer flower. And so I am now much to my husband's dismay because he totally loves plants. And I love plants too, okay, I do. But these are not real because for me, it's enough work keeping the humans alive in my house. And so I don't need extra plant responsibilities. So whenever, typically, whenever I am decorating and using any type of plant, it's almost always going to be fake just because that works best for my life and you just gotta go with that, okay? So I have got my sunflowers, end of summer flower, right? Y'all are with me, come on. Somebody's got to be buying my end of summer flower here. So I've got my sunflowers, this cute um, little jar, apothecary kind of um, or thing going on here. And so I think that looks really cute on my table. And so then, I like to put some candles. Now, this particular candle, you can see maybe why, holding it up close, why I chose this one to go here, because it's got that yellow and it's got kind of that deep red that looks a little bit like the inside of the sunflower, okay? So I've got this candlestick, very tall, it's metal. I chose it for this spot because I like the height, okay? Where I have my nail for this particular piece, um, you can see it's a fairly good distance from the top of my table. And so if you are hanging your artwork um, in your home and it's over a table like that, having something that's going to help fill up that space, a little bit of height, is going to be a good strategy. Okay? So I like, um, I like the height of this. I like the look. I kind of like how it's got that chippy. You guys can see that, right? that kind of chippy look to it. And so that's here. And then I really wanted to have um, something else here. And I considered another small wood sign because, you know, love signs. But um, I decided that with this kind of apothecary style um, holder with the little jars and the flowers, that a sign would cover up too much of that, and I wanted to be able to see that. So I've got this other um, candlestick holder that has that same coloring as my taller one. So this one's shorter, you can see maybe, and it's got that chippy paint on it as well. So I felt like those kind of blended together. This one is just a totally neutral candle um, because I didn't want, since this one was lower, I didn't want this one to just fully distract away from end of season summer flowers, right? The sunflowers, okay? Y'all are with me, you gotta be, come on now. So I wanted something more neutral there since we had a lot of color here in terms of that pop of color. And so this is my little entryway front corner. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think about my sign, my inspiration. I just love it. Now, one other thing about that particular design and um, if you'll notice the pattern in here, we have some gorgeous, gorgeous patterns now. And um, not just in signs that say welcome to our home, but just full pattern signs and they are beautiful. I love those, but I love this kind of starburst sort of effect. And, and so I felt like that really went well with my sunflower. What do y'all think? Do you like that? So this is what this little short, short wall. Ah, thank you, Althea. This little short wall here, got the 
got the little table. You guys can't see all of the table, but it's got kind of curvy. You can maybe see a little bit of that curvy metal legs, okay? And this is what I have here. Now, I'm going to show you guys a little bit more. I have had my phone stabilized so I could use my hands. Can y'all tell I talk with my hands? Um, anyway, so I've had my phone stabilized. So I'm going to move it here in just a second because I want to show you guys a little bit more of my entryway. Now, I haven't changed up any of the rest of my entryway um, just because you'll see most of it is pretty well kind of fixed decor, if, if that's a term. If not, we're gonna make it one. Um, so I'll show you guys, show you guys that. Hopefully, here I can get this moved without too much, there we go. Okay, hopefully you guys are still with me. All right, so, so again, I'll kind of zoom back here and you can maybe see this little wall, my table. What do you guys think? I hope you love it. I do, so. Whether or not you love it, I live here, so I'm happy with it. Okay, so I'm going to take you down, because if you come into my house, you can kind of see here. Oh, hopefully, that's straight back into my dining room. I've done several lives there. Ooh, can you guys see my gather sign up over the um, entrance into the dining room? All right, so I'm going to show you this just because I love this sign, and it's here in my hallway. So look at that, super cute, right? So as you come down my hallway, that's what you see. But when you come in the entryway, I'm going to try. Okay, you guys can't see that. So I was going to try to show you this sign here at the top of my stairs. So what I'm going to do is we're going to walk a little bit up my stairs. Now up my stairwell, I've got this kind of gallery. Can you guys see that behind me? I've got this kind of gallery wall of all of our family. Um, so that's on the wall. So that's what I mean meant earlier when I said it's kind of fixed decor in that sense. I don't change that up very often. So I'm going to flip this camera around so you can see. This is at the top of my steps. So I've got this round and I love this saying, today is a good day for a good day. So I've got that up there. Now I'm going to get a little bit closer so you guys can see how this background is very chippy and you can see that admiral blue okay so that is why when i was there we are okay so that is why i'm going to turn this way so you guys can see that behind me when i was choosing the color for my sign that we've already looked at down at the bottom the new design welcome to our home design that's why i chose admiral blue because i had that up at the top and i wanted those to really coordinate so can you guys sort of see as you go up my stairs? By the way, I think I've told you before, I do love color. Color, look, see, I've got this shirt on. I'm not just a total black and white girl. Color is my jam. I like color. So you can kind of see we did this pattern on our stairs, alternating stair tra treads with that floral design. So it's a little funky. It may be something that I change in the future. Who knows, you never can tell. But anyway, coming back to this beauty. So this was the Admiral Blue color. So I'm gonna zoom that in. Can you guys see that? That Admiral Blue, so my sign at the top, which you can't see super well from here because of the light fixture, but maybe you can see it. Can you see it just a little bit? So it's got that blue. So that's kind of my tie-in. So that is my entryway. And like I said, I feel like this, particular sign very timeless very classic and just some swap around on the table and it's certainly going to fit any season um, of the year so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing my in entryway hearing about my inspiration we have got some of these of course beautiful designs you can come and make with us in the studio so book your appointment and we will see you guys in the studio very soon. Have a great night, everybody.